Have you ever wanted to play a game that encapsulates the true spirit of wholesome American values? A game that has been meticulously crafted to give the player a deep epistemological understanding of freedom and judicious use of our Second Amendment rights? Look no further. Dangerous Dave is the brainchild of id Software Boys, John Romero, John Carmack, Adrian Carmack during their days freelancing for Softest Publishing. Well, don't know what that is? I'm not even sure what we're uh, talking about just now. It says so right here, I, I don't know, just open it up. And you just uh, find the words that prove the point. God, I wish I wasn't illiterate. We play as David E. Dangerson out on a mission to save his younger brother William from the dastardly grabby hands. What? You don't believe me? See? It says right here. Would the internet lie to you? To aid you on your quest, you collect MAGA hats and apply hot sticky lead on filthy, degenerate Eastern European immigrants. The beauty of this game comes from its simplicity. You see a raggedy gypsy hobo? You shoot raggedy gypsy hobo. You see beautiful Slavic babushka coming from church? You shoot beautiful Slavic babushka coming from church. Unless you want to get stabbed, of course. Huh. In this, uh, in a way, this game is more of a simulation of day-to-day -day life in Romania. Within this simplicity, they added one mechanic that facilitates player choice in an interesting way. You have to stand still and reload your gun. This seemingly small addition to the game adds tension and brings a bit of flavor to the monotonous gameplay. Because there's nothing that says Epic Gamer more than forgetting to reload your gun and getting mauled by a bear. Couple that with one hit death, it makes uh, some situations a lot more engaging. The best example for this is the fight with Mr. Uh, Grabby Hands over here. You spend all your rounds on the hands and then you have uh, to reload while dodging projectiles. It's fun. It's great. I guess uh, <laughs> I got my hands full with this one. Thank god I know this game like uh, the back of my hands, which gives me the upper hand. Was that too heavy handed? Alright, level 1, go! Get MAGA hat for extra patriotism, so shoot zombie, reload, shoot, always reload, never stop, die by babushka for the first time, second time, win! Level 2, kill the first slimy boy, kill the two babushkas, kill the first spider boy, don't worry, he's easy to kill I think, don't go down there buster, win! Level 3, die by pit, die by sneaky pit of game design, die by knife, win, again. Level 4, shoot big scary Frankenstein until he goes back to the grave, you'll get a big shock out of this one. Level 5, get a nice big struggle snuggle from friendly ghost. Ah, oh, at the majestic wildlife, oh my god they are so marvelous. Going down is bad, we've established this. Remember when I said the reloading brings tension and engagement in the combat? Uh, that should all get sold really fast. Don't let Yogi see you, he'll take more than your picnic baskets. Jump into second pit of game design, but this time win. Level Chasse. You shoot the Ghost Rider, you jump to the left and say, Hey, Ghost Rider, help me please, I have a family. In Ghost Rider, he takes pity, he knows the struggle, he tells it, hey, just press F12 plus W and go to level 7. Level 2? I'm pretty sure Ghost Rider just meant level 8. Final level, baby, let's go. Pro tip, shoot Malaster Skellington till he dies and you win. God bless us everyone. And that's pretty much it for Dangerous Dave, please get out of my house and never come back.